Welcome back to Zombie Side Black Plague. We're playing Quest Zero, the tutorial, which is called Dance Macabre. We're having a hard time of it. Don't know why. We are down to one hit point each for each survivor, which means if any one survivor takes one damage, it is game over. We are finished because all survivors need to get into this room over here and escape. So let's begin. Nelly starts off this episode. So Nellie has a free move action. She's going to move into this room with the uh, vault door and she's going to try to open that vault door. Now she gets to roll two dice because she has the dagger uh, combined with the hammer which uh, the hammer is usually one die but the dagger lets her roll plus one die with any melee weapon. So she needs a four plus to try to open up this door and she gets a six and a four so she has no problem cracking open the vault door and uh, you can see here it is now open so that was free move she has one action for her second action she's going to move actually no her second action she's going to search this room and see if she can get something useful yes she gets a zombie <laughs> oh boy all right well she shouldn't have searched i guess she finds a zombie and now she can't actually move but she's going to attack that zombie she gets two dice she needs a four plus she gets a five and a two so she takes him out and that's going to bring her from three experience to four and i forgot a couple episodes there's two or three episodes ago a long time ago poor baldrick missed out on one of his experience points so instead of three right now he should have four so i just moved him up just because i remembered now that I'd forgotten so long ago. So we don't want to cheat him out of his experience. All right, that's it for Nelly. She's finished. Um, and did I give her too many act? No, free move, open that, spawned a zombie, killed a zombie. Right. Over to Clovis. Clovis is in the yellow. He does get four actions. And Clovis is going to move one into here. For his second action, he will search. And he finds Death Strike. Well, he'll stick it in his backpack. Not uh, going to do him a heck of a lot of good. So that was one, two. And for his third action, he's going to move off into the vault. So this, uh, well, this is Nelly. Clovis is going to move down the stairs into the vault. And I'll just tilt up. I put the vault tile up here for everybody. Uh, so maybe we can kind of keep that in view. And so Clovis is going to end his activation there because... We don't want to try to crack open the corresponding vault door, uh, which is uh, just over here. So we're not going to do that yet. So that's going to be the end of Clovis's turn. Next up, Baldrick. So Baldrick's just going to follow suit. He's going to move one here. For his second activation, he will search. He gets Chain Lightning. Well, that's a little bit better. It's three dice, five plus. So. He will uh, get rid of his lightning bolt, put it in his backpack, and he will get chain lightning ready. And for his final um, final action, he's going to move as well into the vault space. And up last, we have Anne. And Anne has 15 experience, another four, and she's into the orange level. Uh, but she has four actions, so she's going to go one... Second action, she will search. She gets a crossbow. Two dice, four plus, does two damage. And she'll just put that, I think, in the backpack. And then she's going to also move up into the crypt. That is going to end that. And so, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit here so we can get everything in shot. And then we're going to have the zombies do their act. All right, a little bit longer shot here. So we have our three survivors up in, or down in the vault. Nelly's here. Our zombies move. Well, the two fatties and the two walkers move through the open door on their way there, following the trail. Now we have... Zombie spawn time, and our zombie spawn point is right here, so uh, we're in the yellow, and what do we get? We get two runners. Well, they're a long way away, not too worried about them at the moment, 
but they can start motoring pretty quickly. So we'll put the two runners here. And that's going to end that. So Nelly did go first. So up first for our next turn here will be Clovis. All right, and this is the other trap door. So this, so this goes down into the vault. And from the vault, we come up into this spot here. And so uh, as my battery goes dead again, uh, we're going to start with Clovis. So let me uh, just exchange batteries and we will do another turn or two. Okay, so the first thing Clovis is going to do is he's going to try to open this door. Well, he has his dual short swords. They're able to open a door in a four plus. And he's going to be rolling three uh, dice. So he needs four plus. He rolls two threes and a two. So his first action is a failure. He did not crack open the vault door. Trying it again. He gets a six, four and a two. So this time he succeeds opening the vault door. And yes, we need to spawn right here. So that was his second action. He has two left and spawning here. Of course, maybe there's 14 of those cards. I can't believe the double spawns. This is getting really annoying. Okay. In that room, uh, first up we get an abomination, which is not an abomination because in this tutorial episode or uh, scenario, abominations are replaced with fatties. Whoops, slippery little buggers. So we have a fatty appearing and the next double spawn uh, we get is a runner. Okay, fatty and a runner. Okay, so not uh, the greatest a little uh, interesting welcoming party there. So Fatty and Runner and Clovis has two more. He has two more activations. And what does he want to do with his two more activations? Again, we've got to be pretty careful. And I think he I think we're going to be okay. Although yeah, he's going to take one of his two and he's going to move into this room. Uh, with these guys. And he has one left, right? Because he failed, he opened it, he moved. He gets one attack, so he's going to be rolling three dice, hits on a four plus, and he should be able to take the runner out, but he cannot kill the fatty. And he rolls a six and a four. So he does take out the runner. It's going to give him one more experience. He's going from eight experience to nine. That is the end of his turn. All right, and I think I'm going to readjust the camera a little bit here uh, so we can have a little bit better view of what's going on. And then up next is going to be Baldric. All right, so I just moved down a little bit here so we can see what's going on. So here we have Baldric in the, down in the vault. His first action, he's, he's going to move up here into the room with the fatty. He has four experience. He only has two actions left, but he does have the Death Strike spell, which hits on a four plus doing one damage. So I'm going to use the corner of the dice tray here. He needs a four plus to hit that fatty. He rolls a five. Wow, he's getting better. He must be learning how to cast his spells. So the fatty is taken out. He gets another experience. He's up to five. And he has actually one more action. So he might as well... Can he open? No, he can't open the door with any spells. So he basically... Can do not well he could search does he want to search that room hmm we still have Anne left and nelly but i think yeah let's go ahead he's going to search why not probably be a zombie we're searching Ooh, he finds leather armor it's our first armor we've had uh he's going to wear it yeah why not magic user with leather armor so he's going to put his leather armor on which means he does uh, not take damage if he gets hit for one. If he rolls a five plus, he doesn't take damage. All right, up next we have in we have Anne going. Anne has uh, four actions that she can take. She's in the vault right now, so her first action is to move here. I think yeah, for her second action she might as well search. Why not? Let's see what we can get. She gets transmutation. And that is, uh, once per turn, the survivor discards an equipment card of your choosing from this inventory, then draw an equipment card for him. He can reorganize inventory for free. This is not a search action. The ah card is played as usual. 
Uh, okay, that's pretty powerful. I don't know if that... I would say that that takes an action to do. Once per turn survivor, this card is an equipment card. Uh, then draw an equipment. Yeah, I, I'd say it takes an action. It doesn't specifically say. She's going to put that in her inventory anyway. So that was one, two. And she's going to try to open this door and get us out into the alleyway here. So she has the great sword. She's going to roll six dice. She needs a five plus to open the vault door. And can you believe it? She does not get it. So she'll try it one more time. She's one more action. And this time she gets a five, five, and five. So no problem. She, after the second try, bashes the door open. Now this is um, alleyway, so there's nothing spawning here. So that's it. Up next, and last for this turn is Nelly. Uh, Nelly only has three actions, but she has a free move, and she is here. So she's going to go free move down into the vault. Her first action moves into this room. I think her second action she'll move here, and her third action she will move right out here into the street. Okay, so we can kind of zoom this way a little bit now. So now it is time for zombie movement. So I'm going to rearrange the camera here so we can see the zombie movement and the zombie spawn. All right, so zombie movement. We have the two fatties here are, of course, following the only path available to them. Uh, through the door here. We have two runners, so they're going to go one, two, and one, two. So they're sprinting along trying to follow the path. We do now have one spawn point, and it's going to be a yellow spawn. Nobody's into the orange yet, so yellow spawn. We get two dead eye walkers. Well, they're really far away, so not particularly concerned about them at the moment. So they're way back here. And that's going to be that, and I think I'm going to go for, uh, I think, are we going to leave it there, or are we going to go, I think I'm going to leave it there, and I think we're going to conclude the uh, playthrough in the next episode. So the next episode might be slightly longer. Uh, we do need to get all four of our survivors through this green door and into the room. Now, remember to get through the green door, we have to activate one of the two of these uh, tokens. There's one here, of course, and one of them's green. As soon as we activate the green one, then we can go through the green door. However, as soon as we do find the green token, that green spawn zone is active as well. All right, so next up in the next episode final episode for this introductory scenario for zombie side black plague we're gonna have baldrick going first so thanks for watching thanks for subscribing join me next time for the conclusion of my playthrough of the tutorial dance macabre quest zero of zombie side black plague all right thanks a lot for watching along and we'll see you next time